This miniseries of the Bubby and Kara show is a throwback to the time in the third season of the show when the girls were engaged but not yet married and were still in high school. Thanks for agreeing to walk with me home from school. After being harassed by Ted Wilson one too many times, I'd rather walk with you each day than ever ride the school bus with him again. No problem. You know how much I adore your company. I am happy to be your bodyguard. And walking right behind Bubby and Carrie are. I just hope this doesn't become a habit. We shouldn't have to refuse to take the bus just because Ted Wilson is on it. Yeah. Why not make him walk instead? Because his father is a big shot in this town. The Wilson family has dominated it for most of the town's history. So Ted thinks he can rule over us just like his father does many of the adults here. And who the hell elected either of them? James, Carrie and I will be stopping at the diner up ahead to eat. Want to join us? Penny? No, let's just go home. I don't have any cash to eat with. Penny says no, we will proceed to her house. I'm sorry, but it seems I don't have enough money to pay for my meal. I guess I will just leave and not eat here. So I made that hamburger for nothing? You should never order a meal here before you count your money. Excuse me, but I have a credit card. I'll pay for the old woman's meal. Alright, hand me your card. Thank you, young lady. But the restaurant owner is right, I do have to keep better track of my money. My son Michael is the sole source of income for my household since I injured my back a few months ago when I lost my last job. You shouldn't be thrown out of work because of an injury. Debbie is right. And what job does your son work at? He works as a waiter at the Tuscany Tavern. So your son is Michael Jefferson? I was his co-worker for a short time. Yeah because she thought your son was hot and wanted to hook up with him, only to learn later he was gay. Debbie, you embarrass me. <laughs> Somehow, that makes me feel good, to know I have such a lovely son that girl's as cute as you would want him. He is indeed my pride and joy. If you ever have a son of your own, you will know what I mean. Mother Lucy. Would you consider hiring Michael Jefferson's mother to work for you at the Tuscany Tavern? She has almost no money, because she became unemployed due to an injury. She can work again, but she has not yet found a job. Jobs do tend to be scarce in a small town like this. Has she worked in a restaurant before? Yes, she used to be a manager at a McDonald's in Dallas before moving here. Until the restaurant was burned down one night. Arson. I am willing to hire her, but the final approval for the hiring will be that of the owner, Debbie's mother. So why not have Mrs. Jefferson work for the Tuscany Tavern? You hired Mrs. Bentley and she turned out to be awesome at cooking. Debbie, I can't just hire anyone off the street to work for me. Michael may not want to work beside his mother, since they have to live together too. And Mrs. Jefferson would have to prove she can be an asset to the restaurant. Well. Why not try to find out? Mrs. Jefferson, are you willing to do work at the Tuscany Tavern? Your son is a good employee in my place, so I'm hoping you could be one too. What positions are open there now? Last time I looked, the restaurant needed another member of the cleaning crew. So you would be wiping down tables, cleaning the restrooms, sweeping and mopping the floors and washing the dishes. I will take it, and thank you. You will report to Lucy tomorrow and she will have you fill out an application. And good luck. Carrie has drawn up a petition regarding Ted Wilson and has brought it to school. Mr. Bentley, I hope you will sign this petition to have Ted Wilson banned from riding the school buses. Penny has been refusing to take the buses and instead has been walking home to avoid Ted Wilson. So that's why she came home so late yesterday and was so tired. That's not fair to her. Yes. I will sign the petition. And good luck. Ted, you are late. Now go sit down so I can start my lecture. Yes, uncle. And much to James' annoyance, 
Ted takes the seat right next to that of James. And what are you looking at? Nothing. You don't call me nothing, you wimp. You piss me off, I can break you in half. Sorry! Now you will take the astronomy test. There will be 100 questions, and you must answer at least 70 of them to pass. Hey, you are the best of my uncle's students. So will you share your answers with me? You want me to help you cheat? I don't think so. Oh, I do think so. If you don't, I just might hunt you down after school and give you a ton of pain. James then remembers when Ted Wilson beat his sister years earlier. <laughs> Debbie, we need to tell mother what happened. No, don't. I already tried to talk to the principal about it and he refused to help me. He said it was my word against Ted Wilson's and Ted denied doing anything wrong. And I don't want to be beaten again. <laughs> James now removes his glasses and puts them in his pocket. This is my answer, asshole. So you are hiring my mother to be a cleaner? That's right. I hope that is acceptable. Yes! That's why I am proud to be here. You saw my mother's need and reached out to her. She was too timid to just come here and ask for employment here herself. Thank you! So you don't mind me being here with you? Why would I? You are my mother, the woman I love more than any other. The moment I don't want you around is the moment I don't deserve to live. Well, I don't plan to stay here long. Only to make some extra money to get us out of debt. I will also keep looking for other jobs. James, I was told that you picked a fight with Ted Wilson in science class. I warn you not to do that. Debbie, he beat you up years ago, he has abused others, and Carrie stood up to him and gave him what he deserved. He was trying to get me to help him cheat on a science test. So I slugged him right in front of his uncle. I like Mr. Wilson as a science teacher, but I decided if he let his nephew cheat in class and beat me up, he was no better than Ted. And that is why I have ordered Simon Wilson to expel his nephew from his class. Nepotism is not a good thing. Mr. Wilson turned out to have way more integrity than I thought. As soon as he realized what was happening, he grabbed Ted and dragged him into the hallway before Ted could badly hurt me. Because you disrupted my class today, you will stay here until the end of the school day, and you will never return to my classroom. But James threw the first punch. Why isn't he being punished too? He will be punished, but you were the aggressor, not him. I know you too well, Ted. You got punched because you were trying to bully him? But you can only go so far and pick on so many people before it backfires on you. James, I want you to write a 2000 word essay on the origin and evolution of life on Earth. It will be due in two weeks. If you do this, I will accept the paper in lieu of detention and your record will be wiped clean. That's the same offer I made two years ago to your sister and Carrie. I trust you will find this project useful to you? Yes, sir. I will do it. 